Mrs. Graham, we're so blessed to have you here. and We're so thankful at Charleston Southern University because our whole goal is to become this university that's nationally recognized and in integrating faith and learning, leading, and serving. And you made a great point earlier. You said that everything points back to the gospel. What does that really mean? Because that just spoke to my heart so well. Because I think the students always are looking for something bigger and better, the next thing. And what does it mean just to have one focal point in your life where everything just points back to that? Well, you can always go for the best, the next best thing or something that's bigger and better. But I think when you get there, you find that it's not there. Mm. That it really is an empty promise. And the gospel is not an empty promise. The gospel has been lived. The gospel has been proven. And um, I know for me, the gospel is everything, you know, and it's people see the gospel and think, oh, it's a you know gospel of condemnation. Not at all. It's a gospel of grace. It's a gospel of love. Jesus is always saying, come, come. He doesn't push us away. And he really, he opens his arms for us. He doesn't condemn us. He doesn't judge us. He just says, come. And I think a lot of people also say, well, when you come to Jesus, you got to quit smoking. You got to quit drinking. You got to quit doing this and that and the other thing. That's not the issue. The issues come and you'll find out how wonderful Jesus is and what a difference he makes in your life that you're willing to give up whatever he puts his finger on, but let him put the finger on it. You know, as college students come and some students will be looking at this and they might say, I might be interested in going to CSU or we might have some students that are already here that are looking at this and um, some perspective, like I said, students, you know, you made a point earlier and I was reading about this about you, how much grace really meant to you in your life. And I think when people are going through that college experience, they're trying to find a school or they're in the middle of the school with all the weight of exams. And, you know, we, we both have been there, especially at different times in our lives. And how powerful grace is. What has grace really meant to you? Well, grace means everything. Grace changed my life. And I will tell you a story. Um, I was in my 40s and had divorced uh, my husband for misbehavior and um, had a rebound marriage very quick. And after three weeks, I realized I'd made a terrible mistake. Now, my parents had told me not to marry this man. They had said for me to wait, to slow it down, to be careful. And I went ahead and did it anyway. And I knew immediately that I'd made a terrible mistake. And lasted for three months. He became violent. And I said, I'm out of here. You know, I'm not going to stick around for this. Right. I had enough self-confidence to do that. And I had to call my parents and say, I'm coming home. And I thought on that drive, it was a two-day drive. And I thought, what are they going to say to me? What am I going to say to them? You know, are they going to tell me you've made your bed, now you have to lie in it? Are you, we're tired of fooling with you? We told you so. You know, just go make it your own life yourself. And we live on the side of a mountain. And as I drove up the hill uh, and I pur pulled into where we parked, my father was waiting for me. And I thought, here it comes. But when I got out of my car, he wrapped his arms around me and he said, welcome home. And my father isn't God, but that's exactly what God does for us. We can come with our brokenness, whatever it is, whatever the sin, whatever the issue. And he welcomes us with open arms. He wants us to come. He desperately wants us. He's, a one, he's some, somebody who loves us desperately. And um, that's a nice place to live. Wow, what the power of grace. Last question. So let's say the students are looking at a prospective university and they're saying, what's the value really of a Christian education. You've been in a lot of different places. You've been on multiple campuses. Uh, you've seen life. You've lived in different areas. I've lived up north and everything else. So if somebody was looking at it, what would you say now with all the life experience that you have, uh, what would you say that the value is of having an education that's really centered on Jesus? I think for me, the value of Christian education is we live in a complex world. There are no easy answers and the issues of really very serious. It's important to have a Christian world view so that you know how to approach those issues. I don't care what the issue is, um, whether it's your sexuality, whether it's your political view, whether it's uh, you know, who you're going to marry, what your life is going to be, how you're going to raise your kids. To have a Christian world view is, is so invaluable. So I think that's what I would say is, is important about this school. Well, on behalf of Charleston Southern University, I want to thank you so much for being here. You have been more than a blessing, oh, well, and we're so grateful for you, and we pray that God will continue to bless your ministry, because we know you're very busy, and you're speaking, and schooling, and everything else, but we're, we're so thankful, and we just pray continued blessings on you and your family. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's been a blessing for me to be here.